Hello this is CG Professor. Today, we are going to make this dice animation inside Blender. Let's use the default cube. Hop into the edit mode. Add 4 loop cuts into all sides of the cube. Go to face select and select these faces holding the shift key. Press I twice to inset the faces along the normals. Right click, poke faces. Set offset to minus 0.23. Add a subdivision modifier of 2 and shade smooth. Go back to the edit mode, having the faces selected. Make a vertex group and name it dots. Hit assign, to assign the faces into that vertex group. Let's get out of the edit mode. Let's scale down the dice a bit and move it up. Apply the scale. Let's create a plane and scale it up. Add in rigid body and set it to passive. Collision shape to mesh and sensitivity to 0.004. Friction to 0.8. Select the dice and apply rigid body to it. Shape to mesh and sensitivity to 0.004. Let's rotate the dice a bit by clicking R twice to make the simulation more interesting. I added friction of 0.6 to avoid any skating. Now, let's duplicate the dice and rotate it. Position it as you desire. Setting up the camera and modifying the scene. Cool. Now let's set up the lights real quick. I will use the cycles engine to render. Let's bake our simulations. Now, the materials. Create a new material selecting one of the dices. Let's go into the shadings tab and set the view to rendered. Make a glass BSDF and connect it to the surface of the material output. You can delete the principled BSDF. Set the roughness to 0.2 and select a reddish pink color. Now, go into the edit mode and select our dots vertex group. Click on the plus icon and select a sign and create a new material. This will create a different material for just the dots of the dice. No need to do any changes to the material. Now select other dice and click on little 2 icon on the material to create a duplicate of the material. I will make it a dark green color. And let's repeat the process that we did earlier for the dots of the dice. Now, time to make a material for the floor. Create a musgrave and a noise texture and connect them. Select the musgrave texture and hit Ctrl T having the node wrangler enabled. Connect object to mapping. Create a color ramp. Connect fractal of noise texture to the color ramp. Create a brownish-orange color and a light brown color as you see on the screen. Set the scale of Musgrave to 25, scale of noise to 2, detail to 18, roughness to 0.8 and distortion to 0.8. Let's set the scale of Musgrave to 3.9, scale up the y-axis on the mapping node. Connect the color ramp to the base color and the subsurf color. Subsurf to 0.04. Add 
Add in a bump node and connect the noise texture to it. Connect normal to normal. Set strength to 0.2. Duplicate the color ramp and reset it. Connect the noise texture to it. Connect the color ramp to the roughness and play with it. Playing more with colors. I am going to increase the roughness to 0.3 for the dices. Why not make some board tokens? Create a mesh circle. Go into the edit mode. Select all the edges and extrude it along the z-axis. Scale down the top edges. Extrude them further along the z-axis. Hit F to fill. Add 4 edge loop. While being in wireframe mode, select these faces and scale them to make a spherical shape. Select the bottom edges and hit F to fill. Inset the bottom face and extrude along the Z-axis. Add some supporting loop cuts. Add a subdivision modifiers. Bottom part is looking a bit weird. Let's go back into the edit mode and select that face. Right click, poke faces. Set offset to zero. Let's put it somewhere nice on the floor. Create a material for the token. I will make it yellow. Duplicate and create more materials for it. Let's have some tokens fallen on the floor. Select one of the tokens and apply rigid body. Don't forget to set origin to geometry. And bake the simulation. And that's it. Hope it was as fun for you as it was for me. Have fun using this technique for your projects. Feel free to drop the comments. I always read my comments. Like and subscribe if you will. See you in another video.